Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and this is the last weekend for the idea of a dream team of new candidates who are going to save us with interest-free loans and free marijuana to make the news and make a hit and go viral. We'll see. That's the weekend that could shake the world. So I had hopes that the nuclear catastrophe was going to help make the idea of a dream team of never elected candidates and getting into Parliament, which would get me in there to reprogram the Bank of Canada's computers to give people interest-free loans so we could fund mass production of marijuana to kill the cancers we're going to get from the Japanese radiation would help me make my videos go viral at dreamteam.htm. But this is a generation of dumbed down, I can't say retarded, that's a natural effect, but certainly dumbed down, disillusioned, desperate people who are not so desperate they're actually going to get up and do anything about it. No, no, these are people who are waiting for the answer to come from them from someone else. And I guess it, must, it was kind of expecting a lot to hope that it might go viral, but it's still three days. Let's face it, if everybody's got 200 friends at Facebook, they just got to tell their 200 friends, who then tell their 200 friends, that's 40,000, who then on the third day tell their 200 friends, that's 8 million, so that, yeah, because of the technology today, it would be possible to have a weekend that could shake the world by turning the uh, dream team viral. And I was hoping that the life and death scare that people are facing would be enough to mobilize them into doing something, but not. I've done a Google search for a dream team and I can see that there are only three people out there who've helped me spread the word. So it looks like there's going to be a catastrophe and that there's nothing anybody's going to do about it. What's what's a lawyer going to do in charge or an economist? He's got no money to do anything in charge. So I'm okay. I'm a professional gambler. I make big money and, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what happens to the economy. Gambling will always be there so that I can live off the land. I'm pretty safe while my friends are going to suffer not having helped me in this, their last chance. Their last chance before the really bad news hits. And let's face it, by next year we'll have missed a year's worth of crop for marijuana and by then the cancers and all the sicknesses will really have been hitting and it'll be too late then. So, well not extremely too late, but still very late. And of course, I know I'm not talking to you, the dumbed down generation, but I'm talking to posterity, your children and grandchildren who are going to look at these videos and see this engineer trying to urge these dumbed down people to speak up and save themselves and realize that it was just too much of an effort to even speak up. And that's how dumbed down this generation is. So it's a pretty sad event, but there's three days left. And those three people who told their 200 friends, maybe those 200 friends will kick roll something into action. Anyway, it's hoping that this three-day last chance weekend to have the movement for the Dream Team go viral. And what's wrong with a whole bunch of new people in Parliament? People who've never learned to steal, never learned to compromise, people who still have ideals. Oh no, they're unrealistic. Can't vote for them. I want to pick a winner. And we are facing the gambler vote out there of the people looking to pick the winner. And that's usually the guy with the most signs, you know. So, And that's why the big parties are out there putting up all their signs because they want to convince the gamblers, pick me, I'm a winner. So we're going to see what happens on Monday. But in the meantime, I'm saying my prayer. This is the last three days for people who see these videos to do something about it. Right now, I've only seen three people mobilized into spreading the word about the Dream Team. What can I say? I guess the danger isn't clear enough to people maybe trying to explain what squared means. The danger is squared as it comes near you in low-level radiation. Maybe that eluded them, but 
what can I say? It's the last three days to keep trying, so I am going to do a whole bunch of short videos now. No more 15-minute lessons. It's a whole bunch of shorts where I'm going to grab the opposition leader's stuff, especially the stupid statements, make fun of them. whole bunch of jokes for the rest of the weekend. Maybe we can die laughing.